Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today's the day we've all been waiting for. I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak 6.1, as well as iOS 6, 6.0.1, and 6.0.2 on all devices that can upgrade past iOS 6, which does include the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the 5th generation iPod Touch, the 4th generation iPod Touch, the 4th generation iPad, the 3rd generation iPad, the iPad 2, and the iPad Mini. So if you have any of those devices on any version of iPad, iOS 6 you will be able to jailbreak. However, if you upgraded via Apple's over-the-air update feature, then you need to go to iTunes and you need to restore. And it's very simple to do that. All you have to do is actually take your device and plug it into your computer via your USB cable, create a backup inside of iTunes, and then download and restore to the latest 6.1 firmware, jailbreak. And once you've successfully jailbroken, then you can go back to iTunes and restore from your backup. And that's just to ensure that you won't encounter any issues. Also, it's a good idea to follow Follow the same procedure if you want to speed up the jailbreak process, which I've actually already done on my iPhone 5. As you can tell, it is a clean restore. I don't really have anything on it, and I'm just going to take this time really quick to show you guys that I am indeed on iOS 6.1 on my iPhone 5. All right, so I'm inside of the general about portion of the settings application. As you can see, I am indeed on iOS 6.1 because the version does say 6.1, and this is clearly an iPhone 5, as you can tell. All right, and without any further ado, let's jailbreak. What you first need to do though is download Evasion. And I'll have a post on my website listed down below in the more info that contains download links for OS X and Windows-based computers alike. Once you have Evasion downloaded, if you're on Windows, simply extract it and place the files on your desktop. If you're on Mac OS X, all you have to do is just open up the image file and you have the executable or the application right here. And like I said, you can simply place it on your desktop and then run it from there. So I'm going to close out of this and we're going to open up Evasion and Jailbreak. All right, and we're greeted with this very simple screen. Let's go ahead and plug in the iPhone 5 to continue, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to jailbreak. All right, if iTunes pops up, just be sure to close out of it. And now we have the option to jailbreak. So let's click the button on screen. All right, and it's actually just going through the process right now. The progress bar just displays what's happening and it provides you with some more information. And it's rebooting right now. It's crucial that you do not touch your device at this point and that you just let the jailbreak play through. Again, like I said, it's best to start from a fresh restore and it won't take nearly as long. All right, now that we're up and it's waiting for the device to be ready, again, if you get any sort of pop-up, once it comes back up, just close out of it. Okay, now's the important step. It's actually preparing and injecting the jailbreak data. And now it's at the process where it's uploading Cydia, which, as many of you know, is what you actually get when you jailbreak, and it's what you use to install third-party packages, tweaks, and modifications. All right, now it says on screen to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon. And it says that it's crucial to only tap it once. So what I'm going to do here is simply unlock my iPhone 5 and we're going to scroll over and we now have the new jailbreak evasion icon. So we're going to follow what it says and simply tap the icon once.
All right, now it's injecting the final jailbreak data. Okay, now it's finished, and now the iPhone is just restarting, and once it comes back up, we will have Cydia. Again, I haven't cut anything out of this video. I wanted you guys to see exactly how long each step would take if you do a fresh restore. Again, the time could vary for you depending on which device you have, which computer you're running, and how much data you actually have on your device. As you can see, it displayed an invasion screen for a quick second, and then it just went through the boot process. All right, and we have another evasion screen up right now. It's just telling you what it's doing. Do not panic and refrain from touching any of the buttons on your device. All right, and we're back up now. As you can see, I'm going to slide to unlock and go over. We now have Cydia on our home screen. So let's open up Cydia. It's just going to prepare the file system and Cydia will automatically exit once it's complete. Now this step can also take some time, so it's crucial to be patient. Okay, now that it finished its respring, we're going to slide to unlock again and open up Cydia. All right, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of Cydia and show you guys that I am indeed on an iPhone 5 on iOS 6.1. As you can see at the bottom there, it does say iPhone 5, iOS 6.1, Cydia 1.1.8. So I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you jailbreak. Remember, you can jailbreak on iOS 6, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1 on any iOS-based device that can upgrade to iOS 6, which does include all of the current iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models. And also, really quick, before we conclude, don't forget to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section to enter and possibly win one of two Amazon $200 gift cards. And once your relevant comment is posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter to be notified of any news pertaining to jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.